approves the single dose Sputnik light COVID vaccine for use. The approval is no less than a revolution as it needs to be administered only once and yet has 80% efficacy rate. Sputnik light will now double the vaccination rate. The manufacturer's first vaccine, Sputnik V, is already registered in 64 countries, covering a population of over 3.2 billion people. The single shot vaccine will help in achieving a high level of protection at a quicker rate. Sneha Mardani joining us for more details on that. Sneha, this could be a game changer in the vaccination program. If at all it does come to India, a single shot vaccine with higher efficacy rate will pace up the vaccine, vaccination drive. But the question is, when will it come to India and will it at all? Yes, absolutely. But you know, if you ask me, as compared to a Moderna or Pfizer, which uh, vaccines entry into the country looks easier if you bring in Sputnik uh, V, light it looks like sputnik v light has got better chances i'll tell you why because this again is a company that india has dealt with this is the same vaccine though uh, it's a single dose vaccine it's on the adenovirus platform that is the double shot the one that we are going to start to administer perhaps hopefully by the end of may or so and uh, this one of course like you mentioned has got efficacy of close to 80 percent a single dose is what this makes this vaccine extremely attractive given the fact that right now less than two percent of the people in the country have got two doses of any vaccine any of the two vaccines that are being given logistically it's going to be easier a single dose logistically means that once you've got uh, given the dose then uh, you can wait for a time and then there is no rush really or anticipation to get the second dose of the vaccine this is best news uh, given the fact that in a country like india giving two doses become a huge challenge as we all know nabila apart from that this is rdif that has uh, funded the uh, development of this vaccine as well. The trials for the same was carried on in Russia between December and April. There are other countries also like UAE, for example, where the trials are being carried out and the results again expected by the end of May. In India too, this has to undergo the regulatory process once again with the developers then approaching the regulators as has been authorized by the government of India. Right. And a decision on it is going to be taken whether there is going to be emergency use authorization and whether bridging studies is going to be carried out in all likelihood it looks like bridging studies obviously will have to be carried out because there is no difference in position right as far as uh, vaccines from outside